Cassie Beauties and Bows. Welcome back to the channel. So, <laughs> last night after I finished up Instacart, I uh, I drove to uh, Sandy Springs to pick up um, two desks that these people were selling. And I was getting those for the boys so they can, you know, have something to do they um schoolwork on and stuff. So on the way back, we're 20 minutes away from being home. And um I was rear-ended by two vehicles. So that's why I am in the state that I'm in with the way that I'm talking and the way that I'm moving right now. I just thank God that it wasn't worse. And when I tell y'all, I had been praising God that whole day from the time. Because, you know, I have my devotion and all that stuff in the morning. You know, I listen to either Sarah Jakes or I listen to T.D. Jakes in the morning after I say my prayers. And when I got in that car, um, I had just been praying and thanking God and just asking him to look over my son, especially my son. I'm, I'm lifting him up in prayer. And um, I had no idea, no idea whatsoever that this would be, that this would be the end, the day, the... Girl, I've been like this all day. I can't formulate my words properly. I had no idea that I was going to be in a situation like that. And, you know, I, I immediately turned to make sure my grandsons, because they were with me. They, they're my buddies. They was with me. They go everywhere with me. So I immediately turned make sure they were good. Um, they, of course, were scared, you know. So, <laughs> AJ, he just kept on going on the on the video game. And, uh, you know, Jemai, he was quiet at first. And then, you know, after everything was settling down, then that's when he got scared. Um, so, yeah, just, you know, it just go to show me, and I know we always say it just go to show you. No, no, no. It go to show me that God has a purpose and a plan for me in this life. And it's my duty and my job and my responsibility to find out and to listen to him thoroughly so I can carry out what it is that he want me to do that's going to be helpful and meaningful to someone else's life. We're all put on this earth to be an inspiration and to be an example and to share our knowledge and our experiences and things like that with each other and sometimes we don't do that because sometimes we too selfish about you know I gotta get this house I gotta get this car I need this amount of money in the bank I'm in a lot of pain right now y'all So we have to always be mindful. It's not always, it's not about that, those things. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, because you can't take that stuff with you. At, at the end of the day, you can't take that stuff with you. And let me also say this while it's on my heart to say. 
when you follow God, when you are, when you are in tune with God and you do what he tell you to do, guess what? All those things <laughs> will come to you, right? Because he said, I can provide all the riches, all your, whatever it is that you want. He will reward you. Those are blessings he will give to you. But you got to do the work. And you got to do the work for him. And it's not about, you don't want to come to God because you want these things. You have to come to God because you want to make it to heaven. That's where your rewards come. Because then you will be praising him and serving him and worshiping him. Genuinely, from your heart. Not so, because, you know, we already know how to do the selfish thing. You know what I mean? When we want something. You know how we do when we uh, got a friend or something. And they got something you want over there. And, and then you try to be buddy-buddy with them so you get what they got. You know how we do. And you don't want to do, do God like that. Because then... He ain't, he ain't gonna give you nothing because guess what? God ain't stupid. He can see right through that. Just like people can see right through that. So you don't want to, I'm just saying, you don't want to do anything like that. So I just wanted to come in here and let you guys know I'm trying to do better. Ouch. I'm trying to do better. Mm. Ah. Ah. You know, somebody always got a call when you on, on the video, you know. But you just want to do things the right way, when, especially when it comes to God. You know what I mean? And so I just want to come in here and, you know, share with you what happened. <laughs> That's it. So I got to go tomorrow. Uh, I got the car out front. I had them to tow the car home because it didn't really make sense when the tow person came. He asked me, well, he said it would be 120 for for me to have it towed to my house and he only wanted cash. He didn't want to do cash out or any of that. Then he said it won't cost you anything if I um if I tow it to the uh to the uh pound. Now, riddle me this. Why in the world would anybody want their car to go to the pound? No sir. I'm uh not. -uh. So I end up having to drive it um up to the exit and then to the Walmart or uh, Walgreens parking lot. And then um, I ended up having the, the tow person come and they took it and towed it here to the house. So if I can remember, um, I will put clips so y'all can see the damage. Like I said, it was three of us in the car accident. And um, I'm just so thankful that uh, there were no serious injuries. Oh, shoot. Somebody been text. Hold on. Because I've been having to deal with a lot of... Um, mm. Okay. But I've been, you know, on the phone dealing with the insurance companies and things like that. So, but anyway, I was a car in the front. The traffic was jammed up. So it came to a stop. I came to a stop. The two cars that was in front of me, one went this way, one went that way. And that left me to go right here. 
So then when traffic start moving again, I didn't even get a chance to even take my foot off the brake before, boom. Because I was steady looking in the rear view. Because you know when traffic end up stopping like that, at least for me, my first instinct is to look in my side mirror so I can see if I'm about to be hit. So I saw the guy stopping and he stopped. So I looked back up front so I could go ahead and get going before I could take my foot off the gas. Boom. So the car behind him, I think he probably wasn't paying attention. One of them jokers wasn't paying attention and ended up slamming me in the back. This is my third accident, y'all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. So, I'm finna get off of here. I got um, somebody going to get my other grandson from the after school program. He was supposed to get on the bus to come home because my car is not drivable. And he didn't do it. <laughs> you know how I go with these kids. So, anyway... Y'all, let me get off of here because I got um I gotta get back on the computer. But I'm gonna take a break because I'm hurting all back here, like all this side, my both elbows, my wrists, my like my I don't know why my extremities are hurting, but my ankles are hurting, my lower back my uh like right down by my waist all that area is hurting and then um right my shoulder blade right over here and like this this uh <clears throat> part of my head back here um and i know my neck it just from the jerk so uh, like I said, I got an appointment in the morning for uh, urgent care. So it's, normally I don't go to no, like the last two, I ain't go to no doggone hospital. But I don't play when it comes to my back and my head because you don't know, you know, what happened up in that area. So I'm going to get on off of here, you guys. And, um... I'm good. Just know I'm good. Know that I'm blessed and I am God's child. So, you know, he ain't gonna let nothing happen to us before it's our time to go. So, um, I'll see you in the next video, you guys. And stay on the lookout for the, um, Work On Me Wednesday. I'm going to try to switch those up where I'm just not like sitting right here in front of the camera. Maybe I could do some um, makeup while we do it so I can knock two things out that I love. Knock it out the box and those that love makeup. I'm not a professional. I just do to do. Okay. So I think that's about it. Um, if any of you guys want, um, a connect for jobs where you can work from home, because I've been applying, I have one that I'm supposed to start, that I will be starting May, uh, May, March 21st, and then just now in my email, I got another job offer with uh this company called chime and i don't know if it's any affiliation with the chime uh card i haven't gotten into that email yet but if any of you guys are interested in um jobs working from home and you're looking for those that's legitimate let me know down in the comment section and then i'll put a link or maybe i just put the link in there anyway in this uh video so just look out for that in the beauty drawer 
and that link will be in there for you guys, okay? Until then, fancy beauties and bones, you already know, stay focused on God. Put him first, everything else will follow. And stay fancy. I can't sing right now. <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Love you guys.